Is it possible to not have to try to persuade people and yet have plenty of clients? This is what I've been exploring for the past five years. And I can tell you that it absolutely is possible because today, right now, I am the worst salesperson I have ever been in my career. I used to be much better at selling, especially one-to-one -one when I'm on a conversation with, with a potential client. And I'm like the worst now. I just try to help them as much as I can, which is what you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to, you're supposed to connect with their pain points and show, show them how your service is of such value to them. I don't do any of that. I just try to help them during the call. And then at the very end of the call, I say, hey, I think it looks like our time is about up. Do you have any questions about how I work with clients? That's my only technique. You can rewind this later to, to get that. Uh, I also have an article about this. But I want to tell you how you can make selling unnecessary and yet have all the clients that you ever want. And it's really through the process of authentic marketing. So what's the, what's, what is this? Why is it not selling? Here's why. What I'm asking you to do and what I do myself and have been for several years now is the following. I basically serve my audience from the heart and also I, as I serve them from the heart, like through this video, for example, through my content, I try to serve you from the heart, right? Something that I really believe will be helpful to you. But I'm also at the same time exploring my ideas. I'm exploring my passions and my experiences and all that stuff. So it's, it's simultaneously serving you, but it's also a personal growth project for me. And these two reasons of service and exploration is so um, interesting, right? It's so, it brings me alive that I keep coming back to this again and again. And I believe it'll bring you alive too. Because there, your depth, your depth of experience in your life and your ideas and your passions is like an endless source of interest to you, right? And some of what, what you explore is going to be super helpful for, your, for other people. So you are, you are exploring yourself and you're serving others through consistent content, like making videos or writing or whatever it is you want, you want to do. You do it consistently as a self-service and as an other service. You do this consistently, number one. Number two, you learn how to distribute your content effectively. And this is where learning a little bit of marketing is helpful. So for example, I really believe in doing Facebook ads is really useful to me. You might want to learn that too. Um, collaboration is also very useful where I collaborate with other creators to grow our audiences together, people who have similar sized audiences as me. So collaborations or Facebook ads, things like that, learn to distribute your, your content effectively is very, very useful. But when you're distributing, it's also not some kind of a technical project. Yes, it's parts of it are technical, but you're also doing it because you know that when you're distributing this stuff, it's going to help more people. It's really all about helping more people when you're distributing, okay? helping more of the right people. Okay, that's second. First is create consistently. Second is distribute effectively. Third is to connect with some of your biggest fans. Personally, I mean one-to-one, -one, like message them or try to talk with them if you can. You can't talk, you don't have time to talk with everybody, but you have time to talk with as many as you can. When you connect with your biggest fans and you find out what is it that they really um, need in their life right now that maybe you can provide. What is it that you can provide? that they might really need? And what is it that they've already been trying out that has helped them? You're trying to understand what, what they're looking for and what has help, been helpful to them already. And therefore, what maybe what you can create to help them even more. So that's step three is to connect with your biggest fan. Step four then is to occasionally and consistently, consistently announce that you have a product or a service and see and experiment. This is the key here. Do it as an experiment. Don't do it because you're so afraid that people won't buy. You do it as an experiment to say, I wonder if this way of talking about my product and service will be interesting to my biggest fans, knowing that I've just talked with them and figured out better, understand what they need and what they want. So these are the four overall steps 
right, of authentic marketing that leads to not having to try to persuade people, not having to have a perfect funnel, not having to be great at copywriting, not having to be anything other than who you are from your heart of service, right? These four steps, and you can rewind this and watch it again uh, to, to get it. But, but the, the, the key that I want to leave you with is that the way we do our business can be integrated, it can be the same as the way we live a purposeful life. Because a purposeful life involves learning and growth and love and service, right? And exploration. So that's really what I'm, I'm doing through my business. And that's what you can do as well, exploring, right? Your thoughts and your passions, serving other people, learning how to serve more people and how to serve them better. That's it. And that's, that's why... Building an authentic business is so meaningful and so worthwhile to do. So I hope this helps you, and I look forward to any comments and any questions you might have. Take care.